The Mac Mini is mini, it's small, but it's not so small when you link it together with a bunch of other minis, which is a trend that I'm seeing a lot of people do. I wanna talk about it today. It's really cool, especially for AI. The long and the short of it is, as Alex Chima posts here, that the M4 Mac Mini's price to performance ratio makes it a viable option for creating a home AI setup with LPDDR5 and future AMD or NVIDIA alternatives on the horizon. Apple Silicon is made to use with AI. Um, I don't know if Apple really did this on purpose. I don't have enough insider info, but I do know that AI stuff pairs perfectly with Apple's chips. And so when you can take something that's like 600 bucks and hook a bunch together, thanks to Thunder Thunderbolt 5, which has really fast throughput, and chain those together for a crazy amount of power, local power, by the way, not op putting this to the cloud, then what's cool about this immediately, as you can see, is you can stack these and add more compute for your AI setup down the line. So in this picture, we have Alexander de Ritter, who has pictured four Mac minis running the Nematron 70B from Exolabs, which will soon support 450 gig models like Llama 3.2. So you can see in this post here, they're saying AI kit Mac mini with Exo Labs. So the price for performance is wild. If you use Exo Labs, you can do AI inference using multiple of these simply hooked up to your home network. It's crazy easy and a lot of fun for someone who wants to dive deep into AI home lab on easy mode. If you wanna get a little deeper into the weeds with non-Apple hardware, then Touring Pi has a cool ITX board that you can put four of these Raspberry Pi-like SBCs or single board computers into a home cluster which is ideal if you want to mess with ARM chips or setups that involve coordinating across four to 16 separate computers with pretty impressive specs for the price. If you're into like DIY homebrew sort of uh, computer stuff, much less AI stuff, then this is really exciting for you. You know, you can totally expand the capabilities of what you could do. Just, I remember when I was super impressed with the M2 uh, MacBook Pro that I got sitting over here, the 14 inch, and that I could go to Hugging Face and download um, some pretty powerful local models and go to town. Like it was amazing to see the context window was like pretty decent. The time to the first token was like really decent for a local model. Yeah, it heated things up like crazy, but this is like a totally different thing to be able to go out there and just like keep on adding a few of these Mac minis to really go beyond just using this to power your productivity setup and really turn it into something that has the potential for like your own DIY AI home lab basically is cool. Even if there are some concerns over like the power consumption, the heat management, you know, if you can really scale this, you know, beyond for heavy AI workloads. What I'm sort of in awe though about this is, is that it sort of democratizes AI development by making it simple to stack and network this consumer grade hardware to in some ways compete with more enterprise solutions you think about like edge AI and you can bring the processor closer to the data sources in this little mini cluster and just the possibilities are like kind of cool. Now you have to have the time to do this. You got to, you're like pretty deep into AI if you're linking these things up for this purpose, right? But mostly even if you're not into AI, you don't even like recognize what I'm talking about, what this is. It's just suffice it to say cool that you can do this with this much power at home. I feel like this is sort of reminiscent of the old school PC mod culture where you had enthusiasts kind of building these quote unquote supercomputers from multiple components. Despite the power button there, which really isn't that big of a deal, I feel like what this really does is lower the barrier for AI experimentation, potentially fostering some innovation. You can lead in a market niche for AI hardware enthusiasts by doing this. If you're into AI, what's your take on this? Definitely want to know. There's so many cool things that you can do with these Mac minis. It's ridiculous.